So after weeks of speculation, the Japanese government has finally intervened in the currency markets. And I'm joined now by Mark Spelty, who's one of Duke's Copy's many Forex experts. He's got over 20 years experience in the FX markets. So Mark, what exactly does an intervention mean? How does it work? And what's the theory behind it? It's uh, actually quite simple. It's like the Bank of Japan steps in and trades directly in the market. So they're calling up banks and uh, doing trades. Okay. They've done it once now. Um, is it going to be a one-off? Or because we've seen the SMB had to do it a number of times. So is it going to be something that's going to be ongoing for a while? We can expect that it will be ongoing. I mean, if we look at the last intervention, which was uh, more than six years ago, it's, it's never just a one-off. They usually have a tendency of intervening a first time, watching how the market will react, and they can come in again, maybe even many times. Mm. And, and when will the Bank of Japan and the Japanese government be happy? What sort of level do you think they're aiming for? Um, I'm not really sure they're aiming for a specific level. If we look at uh, the market movements in the last few weeks, we basically see that around middle of August, the previous long-term low had been broken and the dollar descent seemed to accelerate. And now, last night's intervention has not yet uh, made dollar-yen break out of the bearish channel. What does it mean for traders? Uh, how long should they wait before they sell the bounce, is the term I've, I've been reading a lot. Well, I guess the very short-term traders are probably acting as we speak. They see the yen or the dollars up 200 pips uh, versus the levels we've seen yesterday. It's, it's a great opportunity to just try and go in again, uh, push all the yen down again. Of course, there is, it's like a walk on, on fire. There will be until the next intervention comes. I think the long-term traders are probably watch, standing on the side, watching what is the next step. Because uh, most position taking has been taking part over the last couple of months and they got in at very good levels, even seen from today's exchange rate. Obviously there's been a big bounce in the, in the dollar yen, does that mean that there's a lot of traders crying at their desks because they, they, they suffer because of the intervention, do you think? Uh, there's probably both, both sides. Uh, seeing the positioning, there's definitely been more short dollar positions and therefore yes, there has been more people crying at their desks this morning. I'm sure there's also a few people that have had a windfall profit overnight and are very happy to take profit this morning. Mm -hmm. And what does it mean in terms of technical analysis and traditional model support and, and resistance? Does that all go out of the window when an intervention happens because it's not maybe the most natural market movement? Not really. I mean, in, in terms of, that's, that's the first thing that we do. Uh, we look, we take our longer term charts and if we look at a daily chart, we can clearly see the trend is still in place. The intervention has just lifted the dollar up to the resistance line, uh, but it's still in place. And obviously, once this resistance line will be broken, people will have to act and get out of their yen positions. In terms of short-term models reacting very sensitively, yes, those, those have been thrown off, the, off course, and it will probably take a number of hours or days or even weeks until they're back to normal. You've got over 20 years experience in the FX business, so, so what advice would you give traders in, in these circumstances? Wait. Don't act immediately. If you're holding a short position anywhere uh, above the 88 level, 90 level, you should just wait a little bit. But you have to be very cautious and be ready to, to close those positions because interventions got to be repeated and repeated many times like it's been in, in 2004, we can expect dollar yen to jump all the way up to maybe 95 or even 100.